they just feel like doing some geometry and I'm going to draw the what's called the uh, tree of life or at least one version of it and it's really um, simple again it's uh, the again unfortunate name sacred geometry because geometry is just like pretty rocking really in my opinion but uh, it's a very easily easy template and it emerges from the same basic constructions of sacred geometry and so in this case I've just drawn a construction line uh, vertically and as with all things we begin with the vesica and it's just first circle and the second circle is on the edge of the first okay now we can extend this and um, sometimes you can do it horizontally in this case I'm doing it vertically so we have the vesica, vesica pisces, the, the vessel of the fish, this represents the fish and so if we do now a third circle and with so we have one two three circles and if we do four more so where these circles intersect compass point there we repeat that one more time and we do that on the other side and one more time and so now we have seven circles in total and there we have what's called the seed of life. And so on this side I'll be showing uh, the, the tree of life. But um, it's again, so from the vesica emerges the seed of life. And you would keep expanding this out. You would have what's then called um, the, um, the seed of life. And then we go to the... Um, uh, the flower of life and then the fruit of life. So the seed leads to the flower, the flower leads to the fruit. But now with, um, so now on the bottom, I'm just going to put my compass point there and I've got a construction line to help me with this. And I don't think we need it, but I'll put one more. I'm pretty sure we need that. Uh, Okay, so with this construction, you might even sort of notice you have a nice sort of cross thing going on here. But um, within this drawing, what we have is all the necessary pieces to draw the, the tree of life. And I'm just going to do it, because I'm just showing the template. Um, but if you do it neater and if you, you know, look up some uh, uh, trees of life and you can draw this. So, but from this template we get the basics and so the first would be I'll get it. so we have this horizontal line we repeat that once more and we do that again so with these three lines we have the beginnings of it now from this point So that little triangle and now we're going to draw a straight line straight down the middle and now do this the same on this side and from there down to here and again I'm just uh, doing this freehand to show the points now within this equilateral triangle we have those and now it's just drawing across you can even use the these pedal um, marks to help now there is uh, the daft the hidden point in there uh, you will find that in other drawings because that's important because also leads to 33 but I'm going to leave that out because it's traditionally left out it's a, the hidden um, part of this design and with those lines there and from um, this we have the uh, the basics of the tree of life I'll just highlight this again and again so I'll you know I'll have some pictures over on this side just to show you the sort of more arty styles of it but it's got a lot to do especially with uh, Kabbalah um, the Western Hermetic Esoteric Tradition
as well. And uh, also uh, Freemasonry because you have the columns of mercy and the column of severity as well on these um, points. But that's the basic of it. It's the tree of life. And I'll just, I'll be over here, we'll be able to see those. And I'll just do the basics of it just one more time. So again, compass and straight edge. Begin with a construction line uh, vertical. We set our compass, we don't change it. Begin with the vesica. That's two circles, the second circle on the edge of the first. Repeat that once more, and now you would have what's sometimes called a double vesica Pisces. We have two fish in there. Now, one, two, three, four. And so now that would create the pattern of seven circles, which is also called the seed of life. But again, um, I think Euclidean geometry is the, is the way to go to think about this because in this design, like, we, okay, we have a nice flower there, but we also have some lovely geometry in that we have, we've created a perfect hexagon. And this is why bees you know, make their hives in this way as well because it's one of the most efficient, beautiful shapes in nature and it also shows this harmony power, the circles, divide up the inner circle to create this the hexagon and it's um, squares and triangles are stackable but the hexagon is sort of the really only truly stackable shape in that way and that's why it's the most efficient use of space um, but essentially it's also made up of equilateral triangles so if I was to draw the lines out in what these petals inside the flower I would also get a series of six equilateral triangles which is also a nice 2D representation of the cube now if I keep drawing down once and twice there we get the basic framework of the tree of life and all these other very lovely equilateral triangles, the hexagon and so forth. And so that's the um, really simple way to get the template to draw the tree of life. The vesica leads to the seed of life and then we just extend down one, two circles. So again, we would have nine circles in total, which is a nice little thing as well. But anyway, yeah, just a quick geometry one. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.